you. Now to what could be an absolute game changer in the battle against childhood leukemia. The FDA just approved a first of its kind treatment to fight cancer. Instead of replacing disease causing genes, the drug reprograms existing cells to go on the attack. It's a breakthrough that could eventually target other cancers as well. Julia McDonald is live at Dana Farber tonight with much more. Julie? Well, David, not only could it potentially be used to treat other cancers, doctors hope that as they learn more about this therapy, that it could actually replace some of the more toxic cancer treatments that have become the standard. It's really an entirely new type of therapy, an entirely new way to fight cancer. New hope for kids with cancer who have no options left. That was Mitchell Carbon, who battled leukemia for years, only to be told it spread to his brain. Three years of fighting, all the sacrifices I made, it just seemed like it was all wasted. But a new CAR T cell therapy trial was his answered prayer. Here's how it works. A patient's T cells or white blood cells that fight infections are removed, sent to a lab and genetically modified to recognize cancer cells. Those new T cells are put back in the body ready to find and destroy the cancer. Just the fact that I even get a future is just completely remarkable. I shouldn't be alive right now. The FDA has only approved the treatment for a childhood leukemia, but approval to fight lymphoma could be next. It was devastating when they told me that nothing could be done. Groveland's Michelle Denault was running out of time. No chemo worked on her rare aggressive lymphoma until a CAR-T trial. By day 30, by my 30-day scan, um, I was in complete remission, so it was like instant. The young mother, at one point given just months to live, is now close to a year and a half into remission, happy, healthy, and chasing her busy little boy. My immune system just woke up and <laughs> went into action, and yeah, for whatever reason, it couldn't before. It, that, yeah, it was a game changer. So in the lab, the drug is custom made for every patient, making it very expensive, about $475,000. Live outside of Dana-Farber in Boston, I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News.